So today we're going to talk about making potato patties. Something very simple, easy, and definitely with leftover items. And of course, this one is filled with cheese, endowed with turmeric, nice and healthy. Potato patties. Let's get started. To start out with the potato balls, I have baking baked potatoes. So these are softer, creamier. And I just have two small ones that I have left over just for me. I have one egg. I have fresh green onions out of the garden. And of course, I have some turmeric, um, about a half a teaspoon, salt, black pepper, and a little bit of cayenne, um, half a teaspoon each. And we're gonna put all this together. Let's peel the potatoes. I'm just gonna start mashing the potatoes. These are really creamy and soft. They're easy to work with rather than the Idaho potatoes. So they mash it really easy. Into the mixture, I am going to throw my spices and my herbs. One egg. And of course, the scallions. Okay, so now the potato mixture is not as firm as I would like it. Um, so I'm going to add a little bit of all-purpose flour. And we're probably about two tablespoonful. Just to add some body to this. Bacon potatoes are really creamy. This is about right. I need to be able to form the potato balls. Now, for this mixture, I'm going to set it in the refrigerator and I want it to cool. I need it a little bit firmer, okay? Now, I've used whole Kobe cheese and I sliced them pretty thin. So these are thin pieces. This is all natural cheese, nothing processed, no extra starch or anything. This is what I'm going to put in the center of them. Now, at this point, you can put anything that you want. Uh, fish, beef, chicken, but today I'm going for the cheese. So I've taken the potato mixture out of the fridge. Now, the consistency that you need is just like that, okay? If it's not, if it's too wet, add more flour to it. I want it not to be drippy, but I want it to be nice, soft, and see that slow drip? It's holding its shape, but it's not dry, okay? So I'm going to use a flour surface, and then we're going to make the potato bowl. So I'm just dumping flour onto my board. Now to the side, I have breadcrumbs. I have, let's do this again. I have breadcrumbs, I have flour, and I have an egg for an egg wash, okay? So on the flour surface, this is just gonna help to hold its shape. All I need is a spoonful, and we're going to dump. I'm gonna make a well and I'm going to put in a piece of cheese. With the flour, we're going to help form the ball. Make sure that the cheese is completely in it. This is sort of soft. It's more like a patty. So I got us holding the shape. You can make these bigger. It's just me, so I don't need them that big. Now, we're going to dump this with a good coating of flour on it. We're going to, a spatula may help also. We're going to dump this into the egg wash and then dump this into the panko. So into the egg wash it goes, and then into the panko mix. You want to coat it really, really good.
and we're going to set it aside on a separate dish and we're going to let this cool off. I needed to hold a shape so I want it cold before I put it in the to cook it up. Now I have a nice glob of it in the flour mixture. The cheese go on top. More of the potato mixture. Temporary make our little patty. Again, we're going to scoop with our flour to keep the shape. And I'm going to make these up all first before I start the egg wash and the breadcrumb mixture. Okay, so these are two potatoes, the finished patties. So you have to give it a good coating of the breadcrumb. And it has to be refrigerated in order to retain its shape. We're going to let it brown on this side and then we'll flip it over. Alright guys, one more patty to, to cook up, but this nice firm coating and of course we see the cheese inside and of course we have to taste. Well seasoned, the onion comes through. The potatoes are very creamy on the inside. Nice crunch on the outside. And this is delicious, I have to do this again. But again, take a good look, you can see the cheese. The onion brings a nice flavor, the turmeric, nice mild, Sort of like a sweetness to it. Small underbite of a, of a kick. That's from the, um, um, the peppers that I put inside. But this is very nice. So this is me with my coronavirus um, using up what I have in the kitchen. Trying to conserve, but this is a nice... Uh, potato patty actually that you need to try.